to victory, to history, to making magic moves the mystery, to building empires, no Tetris. We win and quit asking who's next, cause we out here, we right here, ahead of the game, we like light years. We leading the way, we pioneers. Ambition on how we got no fear. We out here, victory, victory. V I C T R I victory victory is that correct? V I C T R I Yay. N O M O O. Uh, uh, oh gosh, you were go- <laughs> you were doing so great. You were doing really really great. <laughs> Yo, the album is out. Victory Nomuzi, hard as ever. We're gonna play you some joints. Check them out. Um, I've already heard the album, uh-huh. so you know, I just wanna get into just the beginning. You know, from um, from victory. Yeah. I was actually, I actually never noticed you have two victories. You have one at the end and at the beginning. I do, yes. And the, the second one we almost called like V.C.I. I, I, I think we just ran out of time and that, that's just what Double D called it, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we've got two victories and Lunatic actually produced both of them. So why two victories? Why in the opening and the closing? I don't, it's just the way it happened. I mean, I definitely wanted the opening to be something very strong, something that was going to set the tone and tell the message for the album. Um, And the closing victory, I feel like, was a song that I really needed to do simply because of the life that I live and, you know, the higher power that I respond to. So it was very important for me to do the last song, for them to come like that and for Lunatic to have produced both of them was simply like ironic and just how it played out but yeah i think it, it worked out pretty dope um i mean obviously like the first track is the statement track right mm-hmm. um what is the statement you're making because obviously the title of the album is victory first track is literally like statement you got tapsy also yeah um what is the statement the statement is that i'm really gonna do this i think from the very first second from the song you're just like oh snap Okay, she wants to do it like that, like, okay. And I think in terms of what I'm saying, it's just like, yo, I'm really, really about to do this. Like, you better open up your ears. You better open up your mind. You better open up your heart because I really take this seriously and I'm really about to do this. And I think Tubsy kind of just said it in a much sweeter way, in a very beautiful, melodic way. And it's so inspiring. Like, I find myself listening to this song when the day starts, when I'm about to go into a meeting, when I'm on my way to church, when I come out of church. It's a very, very beautiful, positive and inspirational song. What do you think you're saying to yourself? Because, you know, it's like almost like your subconscious. What do you think you're saying to yourself? You're definitely always saying it to yourself before you're saying it to other people. And I think for me, it was just the same thing. Like saying that, like, okay, girl, you you, you want to do this rap thing? You want to do this album thing? Then be serious about it. Like really let people know what it is that you're about. What is it that you're trying to achieve? And I think I had to answer all of those questions first for myself. What lines, though, that really that you are, that you go... On <laughs> <laughs> this particular song, oh, there's so many. I think definitely the hook, like Tubsy, perfect, like she took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, she came um, through. Yeah, she, like she just, perfectly. Nice like, compliment. Yeah. Perfectly, yeah. like so, so perfectly. She couldn't have done it any better. Like literally perfect. Um, I think. What the part I really do like, simply because I recorded the album at the Red Bull Studios, is Vittle with the drive, Red Bull in the tank, too busy winning to care what you think. I thought, okay, that was dope. Yeah, if you don't yeah. like know anything about racing and stuff, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know much either. Sport is just was watching it. But yeah, Vittle obviously had a really crazy time when he was with the Red Bull, and I'm doing a lot of work with him now. So yeah, it's kind yeah. of just like I'm in the driver's seat, I'm taking control. And yeah, it's going to be crazy. You didn't get that? <laughs> It was like, oh, I never got that line. <laughs> you, you see, know. it takes time, and he's heard it a lot, so Yo. you really gotta listen. Go, go to Oh, my. oh you wanna go to Omai? Yeah. Alright, cool. Cause all the black on the beat, yeah. You know that I bring the heat, yeah. Hotter than the sun, blazing through your speaker, make you wanna move your feet, yeah. Killing it since day one, didn't even use a damn gun. Every time I try to spot the competition, really, I don't ever see none. Even oh, shit, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Um, oh my, you know, um, it's, there's so much that you say. Um, and I, I told you the other day, I just said, I, I just appreciated how you, um, how you've, um, how we've seen your life in the industry. And yeah. you've literally put your life in the industry in the song, yeah. you know. 
um, specifically when you talk about how you how you took your presenting and you flipped it. Yeah. Um, you talk about how you used to stand in lines, you know, not in this track specifically. I mean, w what is the importance of always just reflecting on where you started, you know what I mean? Because you're definitely not the same person you were when yeah, you started. Yeah, definitely not the same person I am where I started, but it's so important for me and why the album is called Victory is because I very rarely stop and look back and say I've come such a long way. Mm. I always put so much pressure on myself to be the next best version of myself. And it's, I mean, it's been a really great thing because I've been able to transform myself so many times. Mm. But at the same time, like, I don't think I've ever really celebrated the fact that like, damn, I really did this. So when I did um, see the sign with Reason, this was a beat option as well. And he was just like, you should just tell your story. You know, I don't think you've ever really told your story because you know when you start rapping it's very basic you know so you you just learn firstly how to rhyme and then you learn to just say cool things like learning how to tell your story that's like the next level of it so that's kind of where i am on the album and it was a really really dope way i think for me to tell the story because like as hectic and as crazy as my story is i really do feel like you know i was like this the whole time through my whole career yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. dope that i got to tell it in that way you you one thing i say about this album is that like you you, you pull us in and you make us like go through your pain you know mm. and and you do it well and you know it's, it's see people might think it's a simple but you know um it's 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 actually a a, a statement line to say took my career, tv career and flipped it yeah. you know um, um, got fake sign, got fake drop. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Um, all those lines for me, like, um, and like, and obviously, like your relationship with Wu, like, it's you've literally put all the, the personal things in it, yeah. but like, it fits nicely. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it kind of makes me want to ask, like, uh, uh, like, ask a question of when you were writing, where. Where were you writing this? When when were you, were you thinking in Cape Town writing this? How was how was these how was how were you mm. unfold ra unraveling these files? I wrote this in Joburg actually. I wrote this in Joburg after the session I did with Reason and Babyface Dean. And I think you know being in the studio with Babyface Dean definitely brought out that. Na -na -na. Like he was definitely the mood for that part. Um, but you know, in this like new age mumble rap, like if you listen to what they're actually saying, there's a lot of emotion, there's a lot of passion, you know, and I definitely wanted to say that. And obviously, Reason was the guy who was just like, because he's been like one of my rap teachers since day one. He was just like, tell your story, you need that moment on your album where you are telling your story from where you came from to where you are now and where you want to be and um i think every debut album needs that moment yeah. so yeah i was in Joburg, I, like mainly in the car because sometimes i have to listen to a beat a thousand times before it really like mm -hmm. and then when i get in the studio it's just like hey double d now needs me to record so let me put something down yeah. but yeah i jammed this in the car for a very long time i mean look you know with all the albums that i've listened to specifically from south africa yeah. Um, you know, we we actually haven't seen a journey like yours with regards to, like you say, your your personality. You get signed to a label. You literally, well, you say fake sign. You <laughs> literally get big drop. You start all over again. You get back to your career. Then you go back to television. Yeah. Literally, all these dimensions, you know, and um, it literally created the opportunity to tell a story, mm -hmm. you know. And and I think that it's special because I mean I can I can I can name all the ladies that are rapping you know um, um, I can rename the topics but you've literally personalized this in in a way that I've really never experienced it yeah. you know what I mean yeah. um, and yeah man it's it's it's, it's a real thing you Thank know. You. Um, um, oh my you know let's yeah. uh, be somebody you Gemini yeah I'm Gemini yes, really you're talking your shit. Ah, on Be Somebody? Be Somebody is like more of a... What was that? The love dream? Yeah, that's the love dream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's the only one on the album, you know, but I think as a female, you'd be lying if you didn't have a love with it. If, even if it's a heartbreak song yeah, or yeah. a in love song, you needed to have it. And I think just besides the content and the fact that like love is really like a real love thing for me, mm. um, 
the song itself is very special. Yeah. Like, and when we started the album, the whole album was going to be on this wave, like mm. Afro, international, like, you know, this whole yeah. new wave that's kind of taking over the world right now. But um, we just kind of went in another direction. But it was just a very, very special song. And for me, it was so important to write the song in a great way. Yeah. Um, initially, I wanted to have Shekinah write the song yeah. because I wanted to have like people A&R and help me with this. But yeah, um, yeah she won two summers and like her, like even more if I'm, yeah, yeah she won yes, more actually yeah. and like things pretty much exploded for her at the yeah, time so yeah. we never got to do it but it forced me to do it myself yeah, and i think yeah, yeah. i did it in a really really cool way it's so special i feel like every time i just hear it i'm just like this and also the great thing about um recording this at the red bull studios is i wrote it in Joburg, but the hook and the rest of it we did at the red bull studios and if you need strings they're like we'll bring them in you need somebody to come play, like we'll bring it in we'll bring it it's like so dope you have anything and everything that you need at the drop of a hat so um they put this kid in who had the coolest name and it leaves me right now but he absolutely killed it and Gemini Major is a genius. Like he's so, his flavors too much. He's got too many styles. And I think this is a very, very special song. That's dope. Since we're talking about Red Bull, since they said they're going to bring the fridge in our office. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I'll make it happen for you. I'll make it happen for you. Another day. <laughs> Get Slickery's fridge. <laughs> Jeez, like, it's been two years already. Three years. Um, Yo, let's get let's get into let's get to see the sun, right? Okay. See the sun. Yeah. I'm a little club when I see the sun. Pull me up, pull me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little club when I see the sun. I said we in the fucking lot until 7 a.m. At a DGL's 8:30 a.m. Pull up at the crib 9:30 a.m. Catch a couple seeds, then we do the shit again. Like pull up. So I mean, obviously we got reason and baby, yeah. baby face, you know. Not from La Face, but from <laughs> Abotin, you know, Abotin, Amatya and Abotin, you know. Um, so I, I, I was interested in this um, East Rand oh, yeah. coming together things, you know. what? How, how did Reason become the person that's one of your rap senseis? I think just simply because he's one of the best in the game, you know, I've really, really respected him. I think I once watched an episode on The Hustle where he was teaching them how to freestyle about everything that's going on around the room. And I was just like, oh shit, that's insane yeah, yeah. and then he also happens to be dating a very good friend of mine so yeah. Oh, yeah, we kind of, of mix in those circles as well and he's just always been somebody whose opinion I really respect I think Smuda also really feels like for me to develop and grow I need to surround myself with people that do it and do it very well so like Reason has always been one of those per people Mugs obviously my E obviously X obviously as well um, Keenan and Liz too so I'm um, yeah, I have a couple of really good teachers, you know, and Rouge has also kind of just joined the, <laughs> the, the allegiance of professors of yeah, rap. And it's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. such a crazy combo. But yeah. like reason, I really respect him. And for him to come on this song and do it such a swag, cool way, not like over rapping and like yeah. being too crazy is like really, really dope. You know, turn up. Yeah. <laughs> So what what is um you know one thing you do also more than um more than often is um I you know and you know when you use the the word the modern maprisa you know your style when I hear it at times you know you kind of modernized like the rapping in vernacular you know what I mean yeah when, when I always look at it and like yo. You can't hate on Mshosa, you know what I mean? You got, you got, you, you got, you got to show love to Mshosa, you know what I mean? And Queen. when I hear you, you like, you like, especially when you do the vernacular stuff, you like, you like the the new refined version of what she's doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I'm like, is that on purpose? You know, is that is that is that is that is that is that on purpose? It's definitely something I had to think about. Mm. Like, you know, I'm. I'm independent and I'm sad to myself, but I really do listen to the people around me, you know? And Sabuda has just been like, this is South Africa. Do you want to make millions of friends? Do you want to be fully international? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually just had to kind of like listen to him yeah, yeah, yeah. and just like 
do it and mm. I have to admit like it sounds effortless although yeah. it's like the one thing that I have to try the hardest I think the trap comes the easiest to me and then the rapping is also quite easy because that's just like Blanco and that's just mm. above me but like to really go back inside yourself I have to like go back to like the 90s me yeah maybe look she like do you know what I mean yeah, like yeah. I have to go look I have to go like like and talk to my cousins and like yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's like hectic, but it's, it's, it's so crazy because it sounds like the best version of me. It works. Um, yeah. It works. I I was saying, y'all, y'all nigga, we, you know ladies night? We gotta have like a Aina Chorus <laughs> version of a ladies night. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> you, know? you see, that one I would do. That, 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 one, that one I would do. <laughs> What's that other one? Don't know why. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, cool. I, no, I love it, but but I love that like you actually did do that, Jack. Here on this, you know, you really rap a lot, um, in in in, in Zulu and in, in Iskazi and like um, and and that's for me, that's the most powerful thing that makes you that that's gonna make you different is that you um you look you're so aspirational, um, but the fact that you can speak like everybody else. You know what I mean? Mm. You've built an aspirational brand from how you look, what you do, blah, blah. But the fact that Ngas Kuluma, you know, like everybody else, yeah. Kuluma, for me, that's also going to literally determine the the people that actually gravitate to you. Definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely. Um, let's get it in. It's for Nugwaz. Um, um, for me, um, uh, these are the songs that make the oh, 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 geez, like I would she go call. Have you guys ever thought of reaching out? Yeah, all the time. He's like constantly trying to like do work with us. Also, his daughter Noe, um, mm. she helped me do some writing on my mixtape. So yeah. we actually have done stuff um, for her, her for her project specifically. Yeah. Um, I think with stuff like that, though, it has to be organic because yeah, sometimes yeah. if it's over engineered, yeah, then yeah. it's just like too gimmicky. Yeah. And for yeah. me, it's like the the young Mapur thing. It's never been like. Okay, now let's do it and then people are gonna like mm. it was really just like a mood like a rap thing and like now it's just kind of like become a personality you know so it has to be organic i think but he's also very like traditional yeah, yeah do you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. he loves that like be super traditional so like stuff stuff like this he definitely loves yeah yeah that's right that's what i'm thinking yeah the 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 sound though also um who's on the production here that one's Funuwazi is Gemini Major, yeah. Gemini Major. That's dope. I mean, um, and like I get like I say once again, um, once again you lean on isn't the Kulingas. Mm. The sound of Kulingas. Mm -hmm. And once again that's your strength. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that's deliberate. All I'm just trying to say is that like you are doing the right thing. Yeah. You know? With this song specifically though, I have to admit I got help from, because I did this in Cape Town and it was one of those days where it was just like, okay, you, you can't avoid it for much longer. You're going to have to try and tap into the sound. And Psycho Beats called up Fresh Click, who actually helped me like write this. And uh, they were just like, they've got insane energy. Like their yeah. energy is super crazy. And if you listen to their music, they lean on the things of a cool you yeah, know? And yeah, it's, yeah. they do it in such a fresh way. Like even yeah. when they came through to my listening session, everybody was just like, who the hell are those chicks? They yeah. got the vibe, you know? Yeah, so yeah. um shout out to them. They definitely came through. Like their energy, you can definitely feel it on the song. So you got Fresh Click to come to the studio. Who else literally just came, you know, that literally is not on the titles that people don't know that just came and go, well, let's listen, you bring in that energy and you yeah. bring in that energy. What other energies came, Jay? Uh, definitely a lot of my E in this section. Like we went through a lot of these beats before I picked the the final like dust vibes you know um 
and just a lot of listening to him. You know, Easy is one of those people, like, unless you have him in a studio, it's not going to be like, he's not going to teach you, like, one, two, one. Yeah, yeah. You just have to, like, listen to him. So it was just a lot of watching him say, yeah, but I'm fine. Just, yeah, but shalele, like, shalele. Just put him on your back, you know, I can tell the story. Yes. You must just encrypt. You know, so, like, there was a lot of that, um... Lots of Gemini major, like even on the songs that he's not on, a lot of Gemini major. Um, obviously, Keenan and Liz, like they, they too, but uh, I think Smuda. Smuda is like the main person who's not physically on the album. Actually, no, he did whistle. Did, yeah. He did some whistles. Okay. Um, yeah, but I whistle. think um, Smuda definitely played a huge role. Is it fatal? I love that. Yeah. That's my single. That's the best on there. That's my singer. And this is literally about home. Like this song is literally about growing up in Pononi. Musi and Tato are really my friends. And my boss was like really a place that we go to. Like this song is just literally about home. I mean, like, um, and um, it's, uh, it's just the joint. It's just the joint. Mm. So visually, how are you going to put this together? I think the same way you say I modernized the rap and I brought it back, I think aesthetically I need to try and modernize like what would a highly aesthetic user user would look like. Like usually my videos are very classy, very clean kind of pop. Like they could play right between Taylor Swift and Rihanna and the quality wouldn't change. But I think with this one, we kind of just have to Get Take it home a bit, you know? Mm, Take it home a mm, bit, yeah. Mm. I love that. Uh, Thank you. I'm Shout out to X, he killed I'm it. Just, I'm just gonna, I just want you to play it so I can hear it. Okay, do you want you, I don't just, mind. Just Shout out to X, X killed this. I mean, of course, of Adi. course. Who's, who selected this beat, by the way? He did. Hey, X. I mean, you probably are possibly sitting in a place where you could have the, some of the most ghetto songs of the year. <laughs> it could be a real thing. But the thing, cleanest you know. ones. That's what I'm saying. You know, you, know? you could have the most ghetto songs of the year. More than, uh, more than, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm gonna say some shit, right? You know, you gotta, you know, you know that I just thought about that right now. You know whose vibe this is also. This is Casper's vibe here. Yeah. That shit is like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you gotta give the Fatella remix. Like another six niggas of people are just on, you know. A bunch of tasse cars, I bought my E, what fire bonk. The Fatella remix. There you go. That would be hard. I'm just like planting these ideas. It does could definitely get it. This shit though. Mm. Fatella. Mm -hmm. This is, song's important. It is. It is so important. Yo, uh, you broke the. I'm so kid. God. I'm so happy God gave me that song. The song is so important. It's so important. It's so important. Um, the skits, right? Yeah. I love the skits. Thank you. Shout out, Pastor Musa. The day I started wanting to do something of significance, it looks like hell broke loose. The day I wanted to start business, the hell broke loose. The day I wanted to do the right things, hell broke loose. Why don't I cave in, go back home and stay average because money average and under the radar are going to be Joe, does Pastor Musa know that he like does. he's out here? I did. I asked does he know him that he's in this service. album that's swearing? I, I, went, I literally went to him and I was like, um, so I'd like to use some of the clippings from a, from one of the sermon CDs because they sell them after the service, yeah, like yeah, literally yeah. right after the service you can buy them and this is from October last year and he was just kind of like, really? Which one do you want to use? And I told him and he was like, okay, I mean if it's important to you and I was just like, it's a very important message and I think um, the message of the house and like the church that we go to is just to like really be practical about the way that we love and serve God. Mm. And um, I don't know if he was really looking for all this attention that he's going to get, but... It's amazing. He's, yeah. he's, he's a, he's, he, he says some real potent things. Yeah. It's kind of like you at the memorial service, no? 
Well, he he's he's a pro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a pro. Yeah, <laughs> you know he says I mean? like he's so real. Like he is so real, and he says it in like. Yo, he's so real. Like, you know, when somebody takes the words out of stack, like anybody who sees me after going to church on a Monday, you can ask anybody, speedster, lead, dimples, like, I will be preaching and they'll think it's me, but I'm just really copying what Pastor Musa said in the morning. Listen, I was, um, I was, the, so, you know, I know this is the end of the song, chorus, I'm about to get to him, I'm about to get to him. So now I'm like, no, but I get a feeling this kid is going to come here. Why last chorus my exercise cut this now to go me bed. So I just waited for the I was waiting for the pastor to come in and yeah. I was like, the skits are strong. Yeah. And they bring the they bring the album together and they really talk about the victory. Yeah. They really talk about like your breakthrough. They really talk about like they make you so accessible and so human. Um and and that's why I'm saying you probably have you could probably have one of the most ghetto album with the most ghetto songs with the with the aspirational side of it also with the trap side yeah. um you actually tick the boxes really well you Thank know you.